Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys the performance of Windows 11 on unsupported PC. As you can see, my PC does not currently meet Windows 11 system requirements because the processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. But actually, I'm using Windows 11 on this PC for months now, and I have done many videos with this PC using Windows 11. First of all, let's have a look on the hardware requirements for Windows 11. So we need to have the processor with at least 1 GHz or faster with two or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor. We need to have RAM, which has to be 4 GB or greater, and the storage at least 64 GB. There are a lot of other requirements which involve TPM and uh, secure boot capable, etc, etc. So basically what happened with my computer after I installed it, the Windows 11, the main problem that I had was the RAM. So basically I had a 4 GB RAM but was not able to support my computer. I have done a video about that and you can find the link on the description below. So basically now when I open the task manager and we can see the resource consuming. So let's have a look on the resources. So if we open task manager and we can see the performance over here, we can see that now my CPU is okay. So it's around 34%. And memory, which actually should be okay even 4 GB, but I have installed 12 GB on my computer and it's working okay now. But when I was working with a 4 GB RAM, Windows 11 was not working well. But I believe that this is not related with the fact that this is an unsupported PC, but with the fact that Windows 11 requires a higher RAM than the one that is mentioned there, which is 4 GB. I believe that at least 8 GB are necessary in order that your computer to work well on Windows 11. So basically here we can see that my CPU is working well, I don't have any issues with it, my disk is SSD, and it's working well also. Let's see the specifications of my computer. So basically I have 12 GB RAM, I have a 64-bit operating system, and my processor is Intel Core i5, but actually this is not supported from Windows 11. If you want to see the steps how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported PC, please find the link on the description below. I have explained in details how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported PC. So let's go back once again to the task manager and let's see the performance. We can see that also the GPU is working well without any issues. So basically I can see that in terms of the performance, as long as you meet this kind of requirements, at least the RAM is good and the CPU is at least, let's say, i5, 5th generation or 6th generation. I believe in terms of hardware, it's not a lot related with the fact that it is unsupported PC or if it is a supported PC. As long as your computer has a good performing CPU and at least 8GB RAM, then your CPU will work well. And of course I would recommend that you use SSD because I was having before a standard HDD but it was staying the consumption here like 100% all the time and my computer was lagging. Since I have installed SSD, I don't find this problem anymore. But this was happening also with standard Windows 10 so I believe that this is not related with the fact that I have Windows 11 on unsupported PC. Another tool that you can use in order to see your performance of the computer is the performance monitor. You can find this by just searching over here performance monitor and then once you come over here you can specify what kind of details you want to see in terms of the performance on your computer. You can add over here different counters so we click over this counter here and then here we can specify what kind of counters we want to analyze. So you have here physical network interface card activity, so you select it and then you click over add and then we click over OK. And now it will show on this graph, which right now is a little bit messy because there are also other graphs, it will show the activity of the network 
card colors about different counters we can see over here and if you don't want to show them you just unselect them so you can play with this in order to see the performance of your computer and you can analyze if you want to have information regarding file read bytes per second file write bytes per second etc etc but based on the monitoring and analyzing that i have seen over here i don't see a performance that is not normal with any kind of computer even if it's supported or unsupported from Windows 11. The biggest concern that we have when we install Windows 11 on unsupported PC is the ability to update the computer to the latest versions of Windows 11. And actually also on the website of Microsoft, it is stated that this could be a problem because you cannot take the updates if you install Windows 11 on a supported PC. And actually, I am using this probably now for six, seven months, and I have been able to get the latest updates that I have needed for Windows 11. I have done a video about updates on unsupported PC and you can find the links on the description below but we can see easily here that my computer is up to date and last checked is today and actually I have just installed yesterday the latest version of Windows 11 which is Windows 11 22H2 version and actually this is still on the beta version and it's not still released to everyone but I have installed it because I am on the Windows Insider program. So to sum up, I can say that I don't see a difference in terms of the performance of Windows 11 if I have installed it on unsupported PC or in a supported PC. Till now, I have managed to get the updates easily and the performance of the computer is well as long as you satisfy the requirements in terms of ROM and the processor, which actually are necessary even if you install Windows 11 on a normal or standard computer. I have installed Windows 11 also in supported PC and one thing that I can say for sure is that uh, Windows 11 requires better device specifications in order to perform well. Practically, Windows 10 was performing well in some old computers, but once I upgraded them to Windows 11, even though they were supported on Windows 11, they were lagging on the performance sometime. I needed to go back to Windows 10 or to upgrade their hardware. If you have installed Windows 11 and you are not happy with it and you want to go back to Windows 10, Find the link on the description below where it is shown how you can go back to Windows 10. So basically that's all that I wanted to show you guys. I hope that you like this video and please leave your comments below and tell us how it is working Windows 11 on your computer regardless if you are using a supported PC or unsupported PC like I'm using right now. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best.